Today what we wanted to do is kind of take a quick look at both of these and set them down side by side. It's not too often that we get especially two rare colors like the High Velocity and the Earl like this. And we have two very well equipped Jeeps sitting next to each other. This is accurate as of January 2024 too. And we want to just do kind of a quick side by side comparison to see what is different and what are some of the big pros and cons for both of these. We're going to talk about the Rubicon, what comes standard with that. And then we'll move over to the Willys and talk about what comes standard with that. And at the end, I might talk about what I think is the best deal for you. So as of January 2024, the base Rubicon model starts at $51,995. And that is for the base trim, just as you see it here with the soft top, no hard top on there. And you do not have any option for color match fenders. And this is what it would look like on the exterior. So price is a lot higher than we've seen in previous years, starting at $51,995. And the Rubicon X starts at $59,995. So we're not talking about that one in this video too much, but I just wanted to mention because that one comes with a lot more standard. But on the exterior, that's what the price is gonna get you here. And this is exactly what you're going to get with a stock Rubicon. Now for exterior features that you're going to get on the Rubicon versus the Willys, you're going to get a lot more. So just right away, I'm kind of seeing some things. You do get standard proximity entry. So you can open this and lock it just by using your hand, not pulling your key out. You do not get that standard on the Willys trim, depending on which one you get. We're looking at a 22W over there and you do not get the proximity standard unless you option that on. The other thing that you do get on here, you do get the, of course the Rubicon fender flares, which sit higher than the stock ones. Those do also come standard on the Willys, so that's pretty nice. But the big things on the exterior that you get on the Rubicon is the vented hood. So you do get the vented hood up here, and that's one thing I can't live without. I love the vented hood on mine. It just looks fantastic, and it gives it a lot more depth. Another thing up front, you do get the two-tone front grille, or you can option the satin, but the two-tone comes with the body color and then the granite on the interior. You get factory LEDs up front, factory LED fog lights, factory LED taillights, adaptive cruise control. You do get standard plastic front and rear bumpers you can option them to the steel bumpers. 33 inch BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires, a brand new wheel that's black and machined all over the place. Not sure how I feel about that, but that's neither here nor there. I rip them off anyways. You can option these to the Extreme Recon as well. That is an extra package and it's about $5,000. So $49.95 to option this. Then you get the 35s and the re-gear. However, one of the big things that we're gonna talk about is the drivetrain and the actual drive line of the Rubicon. You get a lot more upgrades with this Jeep than you normally would. So with this Jeep, you have the Dana 44 front, Dana 44 rear, or as they call them, the M210 and the M220. Full floating rear axle, 410 gears, standard, the Rubicon 4 to 1 transfer case, and then the front disconnecting sway bar. Four wheel drive, four wheel ABS, full upgraded brakes on here. These are a little bit beefier brakes than on the standard Jeeps. And it's nice because if you upgrade to the Extreme Recon, you get 456 gears inside those axles too. And on the base Rubicon like this, you can actually option up to a 488 gear. So pretty neat. You can update the drivetrain and really make it something suitable for you. So guys, looking at the interior of this Jeep, this is what a base stock Rubicon will look like now. I gotta say, I'm very happy with the way that the interior looks. They really incorporated a lot of the red texture and tones into this. Kind of this carbon fiber looking dash with the red stitching. And the other thing that I do like on this is that you do get a leather wrap steering wheel as well. A cool thing that on that you get anything from the Willys on up, you do get the adaptive cruise control. So that's this box right up here. And that gives you a lot more safety features when you're driving, especially for those collision warnings up front. You get Gorilla Glass on the windshield, a nice 12.3 inch screen, which of course comes in every 2024 Jeep Wrangler, a full digital center section of your cluster. And then on the seats, I love this Heather Gray. So the Heather Gray just looks fantastic in my opinion with the stitching i gotta say I, I am a little bit more jealous of ryan's jeep with the gold stitching i think that looks fantastic on his jeep but this is all that you're going to get in a factory rubicon you do get the auxiliary switches one through four i did on this one it has been added the the uh, convenience group so it has the heated steering wheel and the heated seats which is something that you have to add it does not come standard with that but it's not too expensive of an option premium soft top grab handles built in here a little bit different on the dash pad but overall very similar to what we're used to in the rubicon the nice thing though with this one as with all 2024 wranglers they have full side curtain airbags completely around protecting you and your passengers but yeah that's some good shots of the interior here and Kind of just a little bit to talk about. Now we're going to move on to the Willys here and I'll give you one caveat with this one because it was built with a two liter turbo. It's a little bit cheaper than the Rubicon over here, which had the 3.6, but the base price still stays the same. It is cheaper to get the two liter turbo, which is a nice feature. However, this Willys behind me, Ryan, you got to say too, this thing's gorgeous. Awesome. It's a great looking Jeep with the Extreme Recon package. I don't know what it is with the Earl and everything that's going on. This is just a very, very good looking Jeep. But overall, the base Willys starts at $44,000. So I had to add it up because 
This shows the base price of a four door at 36,495. The Willys package is 7,500. So adding those two, you're gonna start at 44,000. And then obviously, as we can see here, we have some added on features and we'll go over those. Now on this particular Jeep, on the exterior, you do not get the vented hood. So that's a big one on here. You don't get the vented hood. And then on the front, you do get full LEDs, so you get LED front turn signals, LED front headlights, but the grill is always completely blacked out. So it's always a gloss black grill on any of the Willys trims. And then the nice thing though, you get the Rubicon fender flares. Rubicon fender flares on here, and then the full Rubicon setup, basically on the exterior that it looks like here. Still get the same plastic front bumper, plastic rear bumper, unless you option them out. Rubicon rock rails on the Willys. And then this one, of course, is upgraded with the Extreme Recon package. But one thing I do know is it has the M220 rear, M210 front, 456 gears, and brand new for the 2024 Willys, this has a rear locker in it. So that is a huge upgrade. And honestly, most of the trails I hit, I could get through with just a rear locker. You do not have the front disconnecting sway bar. You have the standard 2.72 to one transfer case in there. It's not the four to one like the Rubicon. And then also, like I said, you don't have that vented hood, but on the exterior, very similar looking because you added the Rubicon fender flares on here. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about driveline, which I kind of mixed into there, this one does have the 2.0 liter turbo and it's actually cheaper to get that. It's about $2,000 cheaper to get the two liter turbo on any of these Jeeps, but they're always in mix and match with restrictions on which ones you can actually get. The coolest thing I wanted to show you guys on this Jeep is the interior though. So when we look at the interior of this Willys, it looks very similar to the Rubicon besides all the bronze stitching, which I love. I love the bronze stitching on here. The heather gray, almost white color on the dash. You do get adaptive cruise control on the Willys. You get the Gorilla Glass up front. You get the full leather steering wheel or it might be faux leather here, but it's got the bronze stitching on there. 12.3 inch screen, of course. This one, the only downfall is it does not come with the heated seats, which neither do the Rubicon. You have to option it, but this one did not option it so you can see that there's nothing there has the auxiliary switches so aux one through four it has the rear trailer hitch too as well and all the four pin hookups and seven pin hookups on the cluster it's like ryan's so the center is not the full digital you only get that when you upgrade to the technology group which gives you a host of other features but i don't know Ryan. i love the interior of this jeep this one looks good the Earl looks good. Um, the Earl, the black, and then mixed with this Heather, it kind of looks, it looks really clean. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a really big fan of this. Maybe we'll have to drive it home today. But yeah, looks really, really good on the inside. Hard top, everything is completely buttoned up on here. And the best part about this Jeep is that with all these options at the Extreme Recon, with everything it has on it, the MSRP is only 55,000. That's pretty impressive in my opinion. 55,000, you get 35s, you get this whole loaded up, and that's a good deal. But yeah, interior looks, it looks fantastic in my opinion. On today's viewer regular video, we've got Carlos's 2023 Rubicon 20th anniversary in the Stingray finish. This one makes me so jealous because this is actually the Jeep that I had ordered and then ultimately decided not to go to. But now seeing all the distinction applied goodies and the way that he has it set up, it's making me jealous of it. So now Carlos, he has a lot done to this Jeep. He's got pretty much all that comes with it with the factory 20th anniversary, but then he got so much from Brian and his team down at Distinction Applied. He got the gold trim rings on the 2024 style grill, some other color match parts on the steel bumper. I see color matched hood latches and a lot of little custom touches onto this Jeep. Now he's been following us for quite some time and always gives us a great shout out on Facebook and YouTube. So we always see that guys. Like I can't tell you enough how much we see all your kind words. Now he said if he's ever in PA, going to try and visit us he wants to or he has some friends outside of philly so we love to visit you too man and obviously a beautiful 2023 wrangler gorgeous to see a 20th anniversary and to see what you've done to it so thank you so much for submitting and if you guys would like to have a chance at your rig being featured be sure to hit us up through instagram or send us an email all right guys so we're going to wrap this video up here it is absolutely frigid here down at dan cummins we either come when it's 100 degrees or when it's 25 degrees and today it's the 25 degree but overall i like both of these jeeps i will say both of them have their pros and cons when it comes to the features of them, the drivability, the interiors are very similar. However, this one has a little bit more, but the price is the big one for me. This one is 59 and this one is 55. And for all that you get when you put them side by side, in my personal opinion, I hate to say this because maybe we'll let it spill in this one. I actually ordered this Jeep a while ago. What do you think, Ryan? We'll let this one spill. We ordered this a while ago, potentially, and uh, we were debating on what to do with it. We have a couple surprises coming for the channel, depending on when this video comes out. But personally, I think this one is is my bang for the buck, the best bang for the buck for what you get for your money. The rear locker, everything built into it, the Extreme Recon, you still get the adaptive cruise control, the Gorilla Glass, LEDs. There's a lot going on in this Jeep for $4,000 less than this one. 
it's got 35s, it's got everything added. And even if you hate the 35s, you're already re-geared, you can rip those off and sell them for a heck of a lot more than those tires. And you've got a lot more kind of groundwork to play with. I really like both of them though, but I will say this one, maybe it's just the color and everything built into it. And the fact that you do not see these rolling around. This is the first one I've seen in person. What about you, Ryan? I haven't seen a Willys Extreme Recon or even really a Willys. There's not many rolling around. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just some general comparisons between the two. If you guys would please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And from Ryan and I here at Dirt Road Cred, we want you to get out there and earn yours.